Welcome back to another episode of the House Husband Diaries. As always, I'm your host, Carter C. And uh, yeah, we're already all the way to clue number seven in Forrest Finn's Thrill the Chase uh, Hunt for Treasure. So a uh, little shout out to start out with. Um, got my coffee for, for uh, Cal, K-Pro. And this time, it is a uh, Harvard, a Harvard mug. Yeah, at the Harvard Yard, you know? So uh, some of these cold winter mornings when I'm, uh, you know, feeling a little sluggish and I want to, uh, I want to try to, you know, recharge or charge the, the batteries in the old noggin up here. Uh, I pull out the Harvard mug and uh, uh, it's probably like a placebo, but it makes me feel smarter, at least, uh, you know, drinking out of a Harvard mug. But uh, my wife did a, a fellowship up in Boston last year. And so I moved from... Uh, Charleston, South Carolina, up to Boston for a year, not quite. Uh, and uh, so I would go take the tea uh, across the river. We lived in the uh, the West End, right by TD Garden. It was kind of cool, right by uh, MGH. And uh, 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 yeah, right downtown Boston. It was really cool, but I'd take the tea and, uh, and go over and eat at this uh, wonderful coffee shop called Tate. And uh, so for any of you northern folks or, or people that have been to Boston um, or Cambridge, so I'd go over and, uh, and, and it was in Cambridge right across the street from Harvard. And, and you know, I just felt smarter uh, being in, in close proximity with those uh, Harvardites. I don't really know. Harvardian, Harvardians. I don't know. Anyway, uh, has nothing to do with Forrest Finn's uh, treasure hunt with clue number seven. So, uh, and actually, uh, I wonder what Forrest would say about that, right? Because uh, he's not a big fan of education. And Habit is like the, the epitome of uh, institutional education in the American, you know, whatever, history of America. So, uh, so yeah, so that was a long diatribe uh, about Habit, about my, my mug. And now I'm thirsty again. Uh, mm, feeling smarter already. Each sip. It's like an IQ point. Um, okay, so uh, clue number seven. Uh, if you're this far uh, into my videos and you've been watching and, and you're here at clue seven, hopefully um, when these post, then um, you know we'll have had some conversation back and forth. I'll hear a, a good bit, um, and then and then we'll yeah we'll just go from there. So clue seven: there will be no paddle up your creek. And I find this really interesting because. Um, as I've said in previous videos, it really doesn't matter when we get this far down into the point um, because we haven't figured out the first where Warren Waters Hall, you know, what canyon, how far is too far. And uh, then, then it, you know, once we get past Home of Brown, it, it really, there's not really a whole lot, you know, uh, the end is ever drawing nigh, yada, yada, yada. It's just not really... Um, there's not a whole lot there. People are trying to figure out, is that, is there a clue in one of those lines? Um, is there not, you know, are there multiple clues? Are they just directional? Um, <clears throat> but then the last, the, or the next two lines, so clue seven and clue eight are, are chock full. And, uh, you know, when you look at, there will be no paddle up your creek that goes back to put in below the home of Brown. Is it a water? Is he talking about water? I mean, where warm waters halt and then put in boating term and then paddle. Um, and I think a lot of people say, you know, that there's, hey, it's, if there's no paddle up your creek, it must be a dry creek bed. So you're, you're, you're going down a canyon and there's tons of dry creeks uh, in the west. And, uh, you know, that's just kind of like, boom, like that's the... Um, the, the kind of the, the line of thought that, that most people seem at least to be publicly expressing. And I have no idea what people are privately expressing. That was why the Raleigh meetup was so neat because I got to talk to some people and uh, meet searchers for the first time. And nobody really wanted to share, you know, their, their solves or any, any uber private information. But they were willing to kind of say, like I heard somebody say they thought it might be on private land. And I was like, really, that's, that's fascinating. Like, uh, I kind of marked that off 
I mean, most people have, but I'd be really interested to know more about that. And I think there's that comes with building trust with people. Um, so I don't know what other people are saying behind the scenes, you know, whispering or what they're keeping to themselves. But the dry creek bed is just sort of like the hits you in the face. I guess this hand is the one that needs to go uh, so you can see it. But uh, but really, it, it as much as that fits it's so blatantly obvious. I wonder if it's, if it's, if it's too obvious and there's not enough imagination, um, or if it is just, you know, simplify, like it's a dry Creek bed, there'll be no paddle up your Creek. Um, the other thing I was thinking, uh, was, you know, maybe the saying, you know, there's no paddle, like you there'll be no paddle up, you know, shit's Creek is you're kind of screwed. And so life is difficult and, if you look at the memoir and he talks about all the different trials in life and, and how he overcame those, you know, I wonder if he's just saying, Hey, there's going to be no help. You know, education is not necessarily a help. Uh, society is not really going to help. You have to make your own way. So I wonder if it's more of a, uh, you know, if, you, if it's more of a, uh, ethereal is not the right term, but, um, if he's just saying, Hey, there's, there's no, there's no real help in life. So there's going to be no paddle up your Creek. Um, you know, uh, or or there, there's no real help on your hunt. You just have to kind of buckle down and and uh, and keep working on it and be be disciplined. Um, the uh, the uh, the third idea I had or uh, wanted to share with you guys was something that kind of goes along with this this line of imaginary thinking that I've been trying to um, work through in some of these videos is is maybe there's like a statue or a memorial uh, that has a tiny creek on it. Like there's like, you know, those um, embossed isn't the right term, but you know how they'll have like a, a mountains, you know, or like a, whatever be kind of like a, you walk up to a scenic overlook and they've got like a, um, they've got like a, uh, you know, hey, here is the whatever overlook and you're looking over, you know, the grand prismatic spring, but maybe it's like, you know, it's got the, the, uh, little mountains and Canyon on it. And there's like a little Creek, there'll be no paddle up your Creek. And, you know, maybe it's just right there, um, right off near some statue memorial kind of thing. Um, you know, I'm just trying to think outside the, outside the box. I know Forrest said that we would be surprised where it was hidden. And I don't think that just means we'd be surprised at the, the geographic location in terms of if somewhere out in the woods, like that doesn't, that's not surprising. That's really hard to find, but it'd be really surprising if it was somewhere kind of obvious um, and really close to the road or something. Um, and I know we said there wasn't a path within, you know, very close proximity, but who knows what that is. He said people have been within 200, 500 feet and didn't know it. So I imagine it's pretty close. Um, and then maybe there's something else and I'm, I'm not, I'm not thinking about, um, I'd love to hear what you, you have to say as far as the, the paddle is concerned. Um, and then I also thought, uh, up, you know, like we've gone, uh, we've taken the Canyon down and now we're coming back up. There'll be no paddle up your Creek. And so I was wondering if that was like vertically, if we were walking up a rise, so once you put in below the home of Brown, now you're going, um, you're going up, um, maybe the back of the vertical rise, or maybe it's back up the Canyon, you know, or the Creek. So, um, you know, it, are we making a circle? Are we coming back up? Uh, are we going down around and then up a different way? Um, or is that just a directional up, you know, like down the Canyon is a direction up is a direction. It's, it's not necessarily vertically up. It's, um, it's, it's a direction. And then your Creek, uh, just to kind of close up the pups getting, getting wild and rambunctious. They gave him a little treat, but that didn't last too long because he's getting bigger and, uh, he's looking at me when I'm in a staring contest, but, uh, your Creek, you know, so maybe that's the path towards the treasure chest in general is it, is, is Creek a dry Creek bed. Um, or is it just the path in general that we're taking towards the treasure chest? Is it, um, is it metaphorically speaking our lives? Um, you know, there's no paddle up your creek. So uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, we'll try to keep this under 10 minutes. And uh, thanks for watching. And next episode, 
we will do, uh, well, the next episode for the Forest Fin Treasure is clue number eight. And uh, keep watching all the other uh, videos that I, that I post about life as a house husband. Hope you're doing well, having a good day, and we'll talk soon.